Hey guys, it's Serena Math Person, and I'll be going over question 232 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're attempting it, let's just dive right in. So an insurance company sells an automobile and collision insurance that has a CDF of this. And we're trying to find the variance. We know variance to be this formula right here, which is the second moment minus the expectation squared. Right? But in order for us to find the expectation of x, we need the PDF of x. So how do we find PDF? We know PDF is the derivative of CDF, right? So we can just take the derivative of this. Or, but, but we also know that we're only looking for x, so we can actually plug in the maximum. And we also know by the fundamental theorem of calculus, we know that the f of 100 minus f of a 0 initial equals the 0 to 100 of PDF of x in terms of dy. Right, right, right. So then, but we know that f of 0, when you plug in 0 in here, is just 0. So we know that this would just be x comma 100 equals this PDF. All right. So then we can actually do that real quick. We just plug in 100 for x. So then we get x 100x plus x plus 100 divided by 2 million. So this is also equal to 100x squared plus 100 and two more zeros x over 2,000 or 2 million over 2 million. I think it's easiest for us to split it into two. All right, so now we just take the derivative of it. So then when we take the derivative, we put it in front and low, drop the exponent. So we get this plus we just, for this one, we just drop the exponent. So we get this, right? Four zeros over three, four, five, six. So then these cancel out, these cancel out, these cancel out, and this cancel out. So we get one over 200 on this side, plus right here, the two cancels out, right? And the two zeros cancel out. So you get x over 1,000, or one, two, three zeros, four zeros. Yeah, yeah. so 10,000. All right, so this is what you have as your PDF of x, or you can also think of this as a um, marginal probability, marginal prob marginal distribution for x. And now we can find the expectation. So expectation is just equal to x times the probability, like, right? So then this is equal to integrating from 0 to 100, x squared over 10,000 plus x over 200 dx. All right, so this is equal to, we're taking the antiderivative. So we add 1 and we divide, right? Plus x squared over 400. And integrating from 0 to 100, this is equal to 58 and one third. <laughs> All right, what's the ex squared? We know that ex squared is just x squared times PDF. So this is equal to zero to 100 times x cubed to the thousand or 10,000 plus x squared over 200. All right, let's go for it. x4, the denominator becomes 40,000 plus x cubed, 600 integrating from 0 to 100, which is equal to 4, 1, 6, 6, and 2 thirds. All right, so let's just plug it into our formula. Are we finding variance? Or Yep, we're finding variance. So then that's going to be equal to, or ex squared minus expectation squared, the whole thing squared. All right, let me type that into my calculator real quick. This is equal to 763.88 repeating which is approximately equal to 764, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free, feel free, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.